Chef Ellen Victoria checking in live on Facebook Live for Victoria's Kitchen. Once again, I'm the owner and head chef here at Victoria's Kitchen where we offer good food fast. And today I just want to show you a little example of a quick, quick, quick early Saturday breakfast. Okay, so first we're going to start with our sausages. I do like to put a little bit of oil in the pan and throw it around. And these are traditional breakfast sausage links that are going into the pan. The ones that I bought yesterday from Kroger Marketplace on Tim Priceway. You make sure that pan is real nice and hot. And then on our next pan, we are going to put our uncured bacon. Now, uncured is better for you. Um, I don't know if you've seen the reports, but they said that we shouldn't be, the bacon can be dangerous for you, which it can be, and that's because it has a lot of nitrates. And nitrates are not good for you. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they are one of the many causes of cancer. And it's found in a lot of our foods. But the uncured product, um, they usually cure the meat and celery juice, which is better for you than, and it won't cause any extra nitrates to, to cure in the, the curing process of the meat, which is like a preservation process. All right, so we're gonna get the bacon in the pan. I want you to take a look at the uncured bacon. If you don't have a skillet, this is how I'm showing you how to do it in a regular pan. All right, a regular frying pan. show you what the sausages look like. Get those sausages going in that pan. What? And I personally think that it's good to have as many eyes as possible going on the stove at one time. It makes your life a whole lot easier. So if you're good at multitasking, Take a try at multitasking while cooking, and it'll give you a whole nother world of multitasking, okay? All right. All right, so we just want to brown the sausages and cook them through because these sausages are not prepared. They're not ready to eat. Um, I don't like getting the ready-to-eat sausages because they do have a lot of items in it that aren't good for you. Um, and, you know, food just tastes good when you cook it yourself, okay? So we just want to round those sausages up. I'm going to put just a little teeny bit more oil in here. Um, I use olive oil. Um, you cannot have olive oil on such high heat. Um, I think you would need to use the extra light version olive oil if you're going to cook on higher heat settings. Um, I use canola oil. Um, I'm not a fan of veggie oil because of the amount of soy that it has in it. Vegetable oil is just soy. And soy um, is estrogen and you know you don't need extra estrogen in your body as a female because you already have the right amount of um, estrogen that you should have and then men I don't think you really want estrogen since you're supposed to have testosterone you don't want large amounts of estrogen in your system and so that's another reason why we kind of we stray away from soy products um, so we don't use vegetable oil we use canola oil all right so while the bacon is going and the sausages are going we're going to scramble up our eggs. I have the natural cage-free grain eggs that I bought yesterday. Just going to whip that up. Don't you see that getting whipped right there? I'm going to whip up those eggs. Okay. We have the organic, unsalted Kroger butter called Simple Truth. It's unsalted. That's the key right there. You want unsalted. You want to be able to control your salt factor. Give those sausages a stir. Control your salt. You do not want your food to be salty. So we're going to do about half a tablespoon, or even a little less than half a tablespoon of butter in that pan, which you don't really need that much butter. Right, we're going to keep that bacon going. Turn that bacon over. Now, some people like their bacon extra crispy. I am not one of those people who like it hard. Kind of like, I want to say a rock. <laughs> but here we like it just, just cooked enough to where it's safe. But you see this? 
to where it's kind of flexible. It gives it that beautiful taste. It's a beautiful taste to it. Now you want to make sure your eggs are scrambled. I mean, are whipped. Now, if you don't have any milk, you put a little water in your eggs. Just a little bit of water in your eggs to get that going. And then what I also want to do is, I want to pour just a little water into the sausages. You hear that here? Because I want them to cook thoroughly. All right? So I want them to somewhat boil a little bit, but not, not to the point where you take all the flavor out of your sausages. I'm going to put a lid on the sausages after I browned them. I seared them and browned them because I want to, to lock in that flavor. So that's why we browned it first. Okay? All right. Now we're just going to toss our eggs in there. We put a little water on those eggs and we whip them. The pan is nice and hot. Now I don't like to scramble with a, with a regular spatula. Sometimes I still use my, my whisk. That's the best thing that I like to do. Put a little ground pepper in there, ground black pepper. A little bit of coarse sea salt, just a little bit, just a little bit. I have my organic truth shredded mozzarella. I put a little bit in there ahead of time before I start scrambling. Let me let you get a look at this bacon. It is a lot of juices in there. Now usually, you know, I like to use a George Foreman grill or even the oven to drain those juices and grease out. But I have another way that we can get rid of that grease off of the bacon once it's finished cooking. I like to cook the bacon on a medium high heat. Just have to pay attention to it and watch it. See those eggs are settling very nicely. So I'm gonna get my whisk and just start whisking it a little bit. Turn it up a little bit. Now, I love rubber spatulas, okay? They are my favorite. These little things right here, see? There's a difference. This traditional spatula right here, see this traditional spatula? And then this, this rubber one is my favorite. It is a multi-tasker in the kitchen. It will save your life. It will save your life. So you can invest in those, okay? And a lot of times, you know, if I'm on the run or I don't have time, I'm always near a Dollar Tree. Items that you can use, okay? Right now I'm just whisking the eggs, getting those nice and ready. See that bacon cooking right there. Then we got the eggs going. Getting those eggs together. You see that nice boil that I'm getting on the sausages. Look at that. Nice boil on the sausages. We want that to cook them all the way through, which is what that's gonna do. Alright, so that bacon's looking real good. You want to keep an eye on it. I'm going to pull out my rubber spatula for these eggs, okay? See that? I'm just going to start turning them because I'm not already swam, but I'm with the, the whisk. Look at that. This is when you can throw the rest of some more cheese on top of those eggs. Like I said, we wanted to use unsalted organic butter for that, right? That's what we wanted to do. Now it's time to take the bacon off the stove. Because we want our bacon to stay uncrispy. That's just the way we like it here in the Lucky household. Look at that. You see that? Now I saved the bacon grease because there's many, many things you can use as bacon grease for. Pour right in there in that pan. Like when you're going to roast your potatoes or bake your potatoes, that bacon grease, roll them around in that bacon grease before you put them in there in the oven and your potatoes would taste absolutely delicious. Okay, so we drain that grease out of the bacon tray, and look how nice the bacon is. Look at this. You see how nice that bacon is? It's just beautiful, right? We can turn the pan down a little bit lower since it's already been on. Turn those eggs off, and they'll continue to cook in the pan while the eye is turned off. The sausages are still getting a good boil. See if I can bring you over here to the sausages. You see the sausages? Get in that nice boil. And that's after we brown them. You want to brown them, lock in that flavor, okay? And you know, a lot of times what I also do is I like to put little breakfast seasonings together and skip 
some olive oil and roll it in around in the sausages like some fresh herbs and that creates a nice flavor for your breakfast as well for your sausages. I'm gonna put some more bacon in. You hear that sizzle? You wanna hear that sizzle? I don't like adding bacon to a cold pan. If you do that, you'll see that most of the time, most of the time, your bacon sticks to the pan. And that's not what you want. You don't want bacon to stick to the pan and start getting burnt and ruining your dishes. And we're gonna wash our hands because we're handling the raw meat again. Get those slices of the squirrels. They're cooking through nicely. I'm gonna put the lid back on for a second. Get a plate for those eggs. Those apple eggs. Put the eggs are ready. We're just gonna get those eggs down on this plate. Nice cheesy organic eggs. Ooh, delicious. organic parsley. We love fresh herbs. They smell so good, okay? So we like to put a little garnishing on top of the egg. It just makes it pop. It just makes it pop. So we're going to take a little bit of parsley that we already had chopped up right here. We just want to sprinkle it on. Look at that. Look at that. See how that goes? Sprinkle it on. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that beautiful? This is your eggs. And if you want it, you can take a little extra cheese and sprinkle that on there. And the cheese will begin to melt while you wait for the rest of the food to be finished. Right, put some of that bacon on that plate. This is a bacon lover's plate, okay? <laughs> a true bacon lover's plate, okay? All right. Let's check on these sausages. Oh, they're coming up nicely. Coming up nicely. And after they cook through and boil a little bit, what you want to do is continue to brown them just a little bit. You don't want to overcook the sausages. You do not want a, a rubbery food to eat. Nobody wants a rubbery meat. So we're going to continue to let those cook a little while. Um, so we're just waiting on our sausages. And while those are going, we have three more pieces of bacon that are cooking on the stove. And let me tell you what I'm talking about with this bacon. You see this bacon right here? You see how it's still flexible? It doesn't crumble upon the touch. I, I kind of think bacon like that is a little overcooked, but everybody has their own their own way that they like everything to be done. You know, and I can respect that. I can respect that. You have to respect that. Everybody has different likes and dislikes. But I don't like my bacon burnt and crunchy. I don't want it to crumble up in my mouth. And I was actually kind of raised on bacon like that. So, you know, you grow up, you have your differences. You figure out how you like your things cooked, and you tweak it to the way you like it. Okay? See this bacon? It's delicious. It didn't crumble up, right? I'm going to keep this piece for myself while we finish up. <laughs> delicious. Once again, that's the Simple Truth Kroger Hardwood Smoked Bacon. Go to Kroger and ask for this. Right now it's on sale for $3.99 a pack. That's a good sale. Now I love the um Wegmans organic uncured bacon. That's about nine dollars a pack, but let me tell you something. It's worth it. it. It is worth it. Okay? It's worth it whenever you can do it. So around tax season, when you got a little extra money going around, I suggest you take the trip and give it a try. Alright? I'm gonna put just a little bit more water in here. Just wanna Scrape up those pieces and get those going. Now, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of syrup, okay? And while the sausages are almost finished boiling, put some of that syrup in there, okay? A little bit of that syrup in there. I'll show you what I did. Just put a little bit of that syrup in there in this pan with the sausages. Now, you're going to have to wash this because syrup is sugar and sugar burns quickly. Sugar burns quickly. If you don't remember anything in life, remember sugar burns quickly. All right, that is a very important tip that you want to pay attention to. We're gonna let that boil in that for a little while, that surf and sugar water. Take the rest of these pan, sorry, these bacons off the stove. And I like to put them on a 
paper towel and drain them, but I also like to use um, a cookie sheet cooling rack. I find that's a very wonderful way to let the grease drip off your bacon and to let it cool down. Hey, little sausages should almost be done. Let them have that boil. You know, it's not bad if you want to take a little bit of this parsley and put that in there with them sausages. That wouldn't be a bad idea. It looks gorgeous. You know, pretty food, pretty food makes people happy. Good food makes people happy. It smells good. It brings about good feelings. It, it just makes the world happier. Good food makes people happy. All right, let's take a look at these maple sausages that we did when we made our own maple syrup in them. Look at the way they're boiling there with the parsley in it. Take a look at the plate and what it's looking like right now. We have this on a medium, medium high, and that's because I'm standing right over it. You don't want to leave these. Remember, we have that maple syrup in here so we can add flavorings to these sausages. You do not want to leave these. Now if you want it, if you want it, you could add a little bit of organic unsalted butter. We'll just add just a dab. And when I say a dab, you cut off one tablespoon, you slice that tablespoon in half and you take a corner of that slice and you just put it in there and just let it melt. It'll give, help give it a nice little glaze. Now I have turned it down to a low heat because you don't want that sugar to burn. Because what? Sugar burns. Very important. Sugar burns. And you don't want this sugar to burn. You don't want to ruin your dish that you worked so hard for. Okay? Even though it took us a few minutes, we don't want to ruin this. You know, those few minutes mean a lot to us. And we're not going to ruin this dish. No, no, no. So I have it on heat. Have the water mixed in with the syrup. A little bit of butter to help with the glaze and some parsley to give it a little more flavorings from the herbs and to just make it look pretty. It's good to have pretty food. So let's take a look at the sausages. I got them down on low heat. I got that glaze going. These are maple sausages. We made our own maple syrup, which is syrup and some water and some butter and parsley. Look at that. And people, we're almost done. I mean, how quick is this? Can you believe how quick? It's, it's amazing. So don't tell me you can't cook your own breakfast because you don't have enough time. Don't, don't tell me that. You always got time to do something you want to do. Right? <laughs> so I tell my kids, you always got time to do something you want to do. And this is for your family. Make it healthy. Make it fun. Let's get this going. Sausages are almost done. We're going to turn that heat off. And we're going to plate up. Plate up. It smells wonderful. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The sausages smell so good. Take a look at them. Oh, smells wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. Let's plate up these sausages. You don't even have to let them rest on anything. We like to have that syrup dripping down on our plate. That nice maple syrup. What you want to do is to get water in this pan immediately. Um, if the pan is still hot, hot water. I mean, you want to make sure you get that syrup out because sugars and syrups being um, hot in your pan can ruin your pans. It's like making a caramel. It's, it's, it's hard to get out. It's hard to get out. So I'm going to run some hot water in that real quick. I'm going to put a little more parsley on my sausages to give it a little more nice look we got going on here. Clean your plate up. Clean plates. Clean plates are, are beautiful. 
I'm gonna clean your plate up just a little bit, give it a little more pizzazz. Cleanliness is always good, right? Ain't nobody never had no problem with a little cleanliness. Alright. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, how easy was that? How easy was that? Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, look at the maple glazed brown butter sugar sausages, the uncured maple bacon, the mozzarella parsley, scrambled eggs. Oh, the butter has melted. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I want to thank you for joining us for a breakfast edition, our Saturday breakfast edition of Victoria's Kitchen. You can cook breakfasts, quick and easy breakfasts for your family. Feel, feel, feel free to call us at 804-386-2164 where we can actually come to your home and hand deliver these breakfasts or teach you how to cook them with cooking classes or just prepare them in your home for our personal in-home chef services. We can also be reached at Victoria's Kitchen LLC at gmail.com Victoria's Kitchen LLC at gmail.com let me just let you take another look at this beautiful breakfast that we have here well thank you for joining us for this morning edition of Victoria's Kitchen you can cook we love you we hope you have a great day make sure you get some breakfast in your stomach and we'll talk to you later bye bye